In this lesson, I want to continue looking at views, and um, when we left off last time, I had a little bit of a glitch with the, uh, the simulator, um, but I want to continue that discussion by looking at how vertical layouts work uh, within Titanium. Um, to do that, I'm going to uh, I'm going to change up the uh, view that I had created, um, and instead of having the height be 160, I'm going to change the height uh, to this to be 400. I'm going to set the top to uh, to be about 20 pixels from the top. Uh, let's take a look at that. Okay, and then uh, I need to change the um, layout to be vertical instead of horizontal. Uh, now, what this is going to do is, uh, with the uh, horizontal layout, we saw that everything sort of laid out from left to right and then top to bottom. And with vertical, it ends up being different. It ends up laying everything out from top to bottom and then left to right. Uh, and so let's, uh, let's take a look at what it does with uh, this, um, uh, this program that I've created. Um, so I've set these... Uh, uh, these views to uh, to be um, 10 pixels from uh, from the from where the previous view left off, so I should end up seeing uh, these stacked uh, vertically rather than horizontally. Um, I do have them all set to be uh, from the left uh, 10 pixels. Um, but anyway, so let's see what happens uh, when I lay them out. So now uh, what it's done is laid them out from top to bottom and we're still on the uh, from the left um, 10 pixels from the left. Uh, and I can actually do things like stagger these. Let's try uh, view 01 uh, 20 pixels from the left and then view 02 30 pixels from the left. Um, so now I have them staggered and I can you know, keep track of which one is which. Um, so Anyway, so that's um, that's the way the vertical layout works. Um, there's one more type of layout called absolute, and what this will do is uh, it you have to and you have to set the actual position of every one of your uh, one of your views. And so since uh, I've set these all as uh, uh, in relation to top and left, they're all basically on top of each other. And actually, let me change the colors of some of these so that we can tell which one is which. Um, let's make this one yellow. So, um, so you see here now, um, since I since I'm using the absolute layout, I do have to actually specify exactly where uh, each of these will appear on the screen. Uh, and so if I don't want them to be on top of each other, I need to start doing things like saying exactly where they should be. Um, so if I want this one to be, if I want the yellow box to be uh, next to the blue box, I'm going to set my left uh, to be, uh, let's see, 20 pixels plus 120, so say 140. And then if I want the green box to be below the blue box, um, I'm going to have to set this to be, uh, let's see, 74 pixels below uh, and uh, 10 pixels from the left. Actually, I need to add 10 pixels to this, 84. Okay, so, uh, so now uh, with... Uh, uh, with this absolute layout, then I need to be more exact about where things um, appear on um, on the screen. So again, um, three different types of layout. There's uh, there's vertical layout, there's horizontal layout, and there's uh, there's absolute layout. Um, each of them differing in how you need to manage where things will appear on the screen. Uh, the best thing to do really is to play around with each of these uh, to figure out exactly how they all work out. Um, since uh, again, also since I'm using vertical, or sorry, since I'm using um, absolute layout, if I do a rotation, um, I still have placement exactly where I wanted it. Um, the widths are different. Actually, the widths are the same because I'm using uh, I'm using absolute. Um, uh, obviously, placement of how things appear on the screen um, are a bit different um, with uh, the rotation. 
um, especially with this main view, which I've said the height is 400. Actually, if I change that height to, um, say, 90%, I might get something that, um, yeah, so I get uh, height relative to this, the, uh, the height of the containing window, which is the, uh, the main window. So anyway, so that's uh, that's vertical layout uh, as well as um, as absolute layout, um, and pretty much every type of view. And, and remember, the view is the uh, is a superclass to a number of different um, of objects within Titanium, and all of them behave pretty much the same as far as width, height, and layout, and and so forth, um, and the way that things are contained. Um, and for instance, um, a button is a view. I can take a button. So var button equals ti create button. Uh, since it's a view, it can be uh, it can be added to uh, added to a view. So I'm going to add it to view two. View uh, to add button. I need to give it a size and a title. Let me give it a title button. Uh, and then I can place it within the window, um, within the view. In this case, it's going to be going into, let's see, view two is uh, the green box. Um, I can say that it goes top 10 and left 10. Um, I need to set a layout algorithm for the uh, for the view. And I'm just going to say it's horizontal. And now when I put this in my window, I've got that button contained within uh, the view. I can also use right to say that I want 10 pixels from the right of the right edge of the view. Um, oh, um, I need to have this be absolute. <clears throat> so now it's 10 pixels from the right. Um, actually, I think that if I do 10%, it's roughly yeah the same. Um, let's try horizontal again on this. Yeah, I think that there's a, I think that works differently than it must yeah, it must be trying to place it 10% from the edge and then it wraps over. So, um, I probably need to be more like 40% or more maybe because it is a, it's fairly large compared to the uh, compared to the size of the uh Edge, yeah. So anyway, um, let's make it back to ten from the edge. Okay. So um, yeah. So that's uh, that's again views um, and placement and using the properties of size and layout um, in order to manage uh, the layout of these screens.